overwinter some of our vegetable plants today, Akiv. Yes, we do, Dad. Otherwise, they're going to die with the frosty winter weather. It's getting very cold, isn't it? Yep, it is. It's that time of the year. Winter is around the corner. The night temperature is getting really cold in the UK and a lot of our garden plants are starting to die off. In this video, we'll show you how to prepare for overwintering some of your eggplants, chili plants, lemon plants and try to save your precious plants that it took a long time for you to grow. If you enjoy the types of videos that we make, you should consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because we show you how to grow your vegetables, we show you how to cook your vegetables and we show you how to enjoy life by travelling. Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. Without further ado, Dad, let's start overwintering. Let's try to save some of our chili plants. A lot of our garden plants are starting to die off because of the cold, frosty winter weather. But we still got quite a lot of vegetables that are ready for harvesting. Let's give you a quick tour of our garden before we start overwintering. This bottle gourd plant you're seeing right in front of me has given us many bottle gourd, many laos, many khudus. It had produced many, I can't remember exactly how many, but a lot. Now, it's a shame that plant is beginning to die now. Every good thing has to come to an end. But this flat beans plant, still producing many flat beans. We have a lot to harvest from this plant. I'm really happy with our flat beans this year. It has produced many and the plant's still looking very healthy. It's not going to survive for too long, another maybe a week or so and the plant will start beginning to die. So we still have a lot to harvest from this plant. So there's plenty here. As you can see we still have many flowers coming up on this plant. Okay, so this uh, hodu plant has a lot of uh, hodus, but <laughs> it's not going to survive. It's going to die. All good thing has to come to an end. But we're going to try to save some of our pepper plants, some of our aubergine plants. And Dad, have you seen the state of this bitter gourd plant? It's dying now, isn't it? It's really sad to see your bitter gourd plant to start in dying off. But it's actually, every good thing has to come, come to an end. end. Da it's a, it's a approach. Oh, we have... Um, we have one little one to harvest over here. Oh, so we have one bitter gourd here. You can harvest that if you want. Yeah, I'll just harvest this one. Um, so look at the state. Oh, we have more coming up here, but obviously the plant is dying. Look at this, this was the last one. No, there's more here. Oh, Look. there is, there's, there's plenty more. more. I actually had to leave it, just in case we get about one or two day sun coming up. We might get a few more. Yeah, maybe. Cross fingers. All right, so we have many pepper plants and many peppers to harvest from these plants. Guys, look at these beautiful chocolate habanero chilies. They look amazing. They look amazing, don't they? Yes, they do. Wow. They look really nice, don't they? Wow. Once we harvest all the hebrano from this plant, we should try to um, overwinter, overwinter this, this um, chili plant. It has given us many, many beautiful looking peppers, chili peppers. And look at these spicy oh. ones here. Oh, these are the beautiful ghost peppers. Mm. Would you look here? We've got so many. Dad, how many do you think we're going to overwinter? <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to overwinter too many. This is one of my favorite, a beautiful looking um, bird's eye chili. It has some sweetness to it, but it's extremely hot. They start off with green and they turn red. And um, it's a beautiful, tasty, spicy chili. This is one of my favorite finger chilies. It's not too spicy, just how I like it. Oh, this is the Kenyan chilies, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Dad. Yes. I really like these ones. We have many to harvest. Now, oh, there's a lot of, of aubergine there. 
we have many chilies to harvest from this greenhouse. Now having a greenhouse you would extend your season by four weeks but all your plants will die as the as you approach winter. So this um, bitter girl, this is in the plant is beginning to die off and uh, even though we have cisinders coming the plant is dying. It's too cold. So nothing's going to survive in the winter uh, especially in the UK winter unless you have a heated uh, greenhouse. Our greenhouse is not heated so it means that we can start our season four weeks early and then we can extend the season for another four weeks. So this is the aubergine. First we'll show everyone how to overwinter the eggplant then we'll move on to the chilli plants. Yes then we can move on to the chilli plant show everyone how to overwinter a chilli plant. Should I, ha should I harvest all, all of these eggplants, Dad? I think you should, yes. I think you should you harvest all of them, yes. Now, there, these, these plants have given us many, many aubergines this year. I'm really pleased with this plant. Let me move this plant. Oh, these plants are doing, still doing well. So these plants, we can actually keep them in containers inside this greenhouse for another three or four weeks. Even though the night temperature is getting cold, at least it's not, not this protected from the wind. Look at these oh, this Carolina is... Reaper, the oh, bad oh. boys of the world. <laughs> so this is um, growing inside this um, hydroponic, hydroponic system, yes? Now, oh, this is my upside down <laughs> chili plant. It's done really well. It's done really well. Okay, we have a lot to harvest, a lot to harvest. Now look at this chili here. These are the Krishna chilies. Yeah, this is the Krishna. And this, we, pl we are planting many chilies this year in the ground. And I must say, they have done really, really well. There are a few outside into the ground, and they've all done well. Whoa, that's a good, that's yeah. a massive naka chili. Okay, so shall we start overwintering, Akim? Yes, Dad. I think we should start overwintering the eggplants first. All right, so we have this aubergine plant has given us many aubergines, many brinchels this season, and I'm really happy with this plant. And I'm going to see if I can overwinter this one for next year. Now, overwintering is not going to be easy, but if you can overwinter, it'll be very rewarding. Your plant will start producing fruits before other plants that you planted on that season. So I'm hoping to overwinter this one so that I can have a head start for next season. Overwintering aubergine plant is similar to overwintering chili plant or pepper plants. Um, we're going to try to keep one main stem coming out of the ground and then we're going to try to keep a v-shape like a two stem. So there'll be one stem here and the uh, stems coming out to the side. We'll try to save this two and we'll take the rest off. So we're going to remove all the side shoots. I'm going to take this off. Take this off. And now I'm going to cut it just above this knuckle here, uh, maybe maybe here, just above this knuckle here, and cut it in an angle. Did you know you can take cuttings from eggplants and they will grow back? Now this will be difficult to keep inside your house, so this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually remove Remove this and put it into a smaller pot and I, I'll be using fresh soil so we don't have any insects going into the house. So this has been outside for a long time so we have lots of creatures and insects in here. So we're going to dig this out and hopefully wash it and put some, add some new soil into it and put this buried in here. 
So I'm going to cut the root and make it into a smaller root ball. It'll be easier to pour it into a smaller pot. All right, now just simply pull it out. As I said, using your fingers, remove all the old soil. So once you have given it a nice clean and you washed, washed off all the old soil, get a small container and add some um, multi-compost to it. Add some multi-compost into the pot, place the root ball inside it and just add some multi-compost to bury the root ball. Now let's harvest all the chilies before we can overwinter the plant. Dad, this is going to be hard work harvesting all of these. Yes, we have many chilies to harvest. Don't they look beautiful? They look amazing, don't they? Dad, I think we should overwinter this chili plant. Okay, that looks good. Yes, this is a big one, Dad. <laughs> Look at the size of these bad boys. This is Trinidad Scorpion, one of the spiciest chilies in the world. They look huge, don't they? Yes, they do. Whoa, they look so spicy. You need to do the difficult part now, cutting it down to small sizes to see if we can save it for next year. Now, Dad. it's going to be sad. We've actually nurtured this plant from young to the old. Now we have to cut it down. It's going to be really sad, Dad. It's going to be I've, I've been taking care of this plant from a young stage and it's going to be really sad. But it has to be done. Yeah. All good things come to an end. If we keep this main stem and we'll keep this V-shape here, okay? Yeah, and we'll Maybe we can keep uh, this two, two V-shapes here and cut it just above this knuckle, knuckle here. Knuckle, okay. Okay, and we need to cut it at an at angle. angle. Oh, wow. Dad, let me see that once. All right, so we're going to cut it just above oh, there. Here. This is so sad. Oh, Look God. at the size of this. Look at the amount of chilies on this plant. Dad, this is that one plant over here. Yes, yeah, so we have two plants over there. Now... We need to... I think we'll just cut it... Over here. Over here. And cut all the side shoots. Hold on to this. We need to harvest all these chilies from here. Okay, we let your mum harvest, harvest these them. ones, okay? Oh, so the tree's gone now. Ah, uh, Dad, it looks it's kind of hard and sad now. Yes, but, but it has to be done. Inshallah, maybe next year we'll start producing fruits early. Yeah, make the root balls smaller like we did on the eggplant. And then we remove all the soil. Dad, that's your job, but I've got a lot of chilies to harvest. Yes, you can harvest all those chilies. My mom's going to be harvesting the other chilies inside the greenhouse. Yeah, she's, she's busy harvesting a lot of our chilies. Yeah, so I'll just help her out by harvesting these ones. Okay, now simply pull it out. Move this to one side. Add some new soil, new compost into the container. Let's place the root ball into the container and bury it. OK. 
Okay, so there is a root ball. That was nice and simple, wasn't it? It's time to give the plant some water to keep the soil moist. During the winter season, the plant goes into a dormant stage, basically a coma stage. So it won't need any fertilizer and not much water. Just keep, just don't let the soil dry out, keep it moist. Water it every few weeks and keep it in the sunniest windowsill in your house. While me and my dad were showing you how to overwinter eggplants and chilli plants, my mum's been very busy harvesting chilies. Don't they look amazing? <laughs> yes. We have so many different varieties of chilies, different colour, different size. So we have Naga chilies, we have Tunida scorpion, we have um, Carolina Ripper, some of the hottest chilies in the world. We have finger chilies, we have bird's eye chilies, heberano, uh, scotch bonnet. So that's really amazing. Yes, it and is. And we have many more chilies to harvest. Now, this chili plant has given us many chilies this year. We can, if we can protect during this winter, hopefully, fingers crossed, they should start producing double the fruits that they've given us this year. Usually, uh, chili plants and egg plants are um, perennial plants so they come up every year now this this year is the first time we have actually tried attempting to um, overwinter an eggplant so I don't know how it, how this will turn out I'm hoping it will turn out good so let's give this a try and hope for the best give it a try best of luck with your overwintering and if you enjoy watching our videos please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with friends and families as you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. And don't forget to leave us a comment letting us know how you're finding our videos. Stay safe, Asalaamu As Alaikum, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening, Asalaamu As Alaikum, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, Let's get all this inside the house. Yes, Dad, we still got plenty of more of harvesting and your to do. Mum is uh, harvesting plenty more in the greenhouse. <laughs>